Now here's Jennifer with Donna Crush as they take one final look at the realistic possibilities of living fully alive. I want you to take some time and ponder two important words, fully alive, fully, completely, hugely, everything and alive. We all want to not just live alive, we want to live fully alive. For the past several weeks, we've had Donna Crutch joining us here on our show to talk about so many different aspects that were going on in her life, were going on in some of her friends' lives, maybe going on in your life as well, and taking a deeper look to be able to really examine what are those symptoms, what are the cures, and how can we live fully alive? Donna, let's just focus on that, that exciting idea that God mm. really designed us to be that, to live, not just live, but to live with fullness, to live with true life. I think to be fully alive means to be whole. Uh, my life verse is 1 John 2, 20 and 27. And depending upon which version you read, right, there's a thing you know that no man has taught you. And this is given to you by the Holy Spirit. It's what you're here for. And I'm, I mean, I, you can see that I embrace it so much because I know that I'm here to help people be whole and fully alive. Mm -hmm. But this is not just a truth for me, it's God's word, so it's a truth for everybody. There's a thing you know that no man's taught you, was given to you by the Holy Spirit, it's what you're here for. We're here to be whole and fully alive, and that resonates with us. Now, our flesh sometimes will say, yes, but I'm getting older. Yes, mm -hmm. but I have this condition. Yes, but I'm on this prescription. It doesn't mean you're not intended to be whole mm -hmm. and fully alive. And, you know, there's, there's a, an analogy that we can all relate to. If we go back to grade school or middle school, we're at maybe our first dance, and there are some of us that were along the wall watching people dance and wanting to be in there so much. Mm -hmm. I want to dance too. I want to have fun. They're having so much fun. But we stood along the wall, and there were others that danced. We didn't notice the people on the wall because they were having so much fun being fully alive. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say to people is, don't be a bystander in life. Don't stand along the wall. Dance. <laughs> Experience every single day richly, fully, and being whole. People ask me, oh, aren't you that, that lady who was at weight loss place? No. I'm in the business of building whole and fully alive people. Well, Somebody just... else will say fitness, right? You have that fitness facility. No. We're in the business of building whole and fully alive people. I was just going to say, people drive by your facility on Cable Road. They know your name well. I mean, you have been a well-known advocate for fitness and for weight loss. Mm -hmm. But uh, like you said, each one individually is not the solution. Looking at the whole picture and the hormonal situation, yep. all of that together is the pathway yep. to achieving all of these results. Yep. yep. To just lose weight, it's silly. I mean, truthfully, uh, you know, we've had the conversation because we're both exercise people, right? We exercise our entire life and believe in it. You can do the wrong exercises that will throw your hormones out of whack and you're working your tail off working out, wondering why you still feel lousy, why you still can't sleep, why you can't lose weight. It's because exercise alone is not enough. Weight loss and diets bleh, alone, not enough. It's about being whole. The W in whole stands for well. It's, it's learning to understand what's real hunger. What's not real hunger? A lot of times we'll say we're hungry when our tummy's growling. Tummy, gra tummy growling just means volume's missing. And the mm -hmm. reason I can prove it's not hunger is if you drink a big glass of water, it goes away. Mm -hmm. So see, your tummy didn't need food. Brain cravings. If you see a, a Domino's commercial on television, oh boy, Domino's really sounds good, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Are you? Or is it a brain craving? Emotional reaction can actually camouflage as hunger, boredom. Eating, mm -hmm. habit eating can camouflage as hunger. So those are a lot of things we teach. The H in whole is having balance, peace, mm -hmm. which is, we know, the ultimate source of that peace, right? But we need balance. None of us wants to be running between personal life and professional life. Mm -hmm. How do we be the same person all the time? Optimistic outlook is O. And knowing the way you think affects how you feel and even your weight changes everything. L is loved and loving. Relationships matter. There are people who support us. Believe it or not, there are people who sabotage us. They don't mean to. They, they'll sabotage our goal. And then there are people who are significant in helping us achieve our goal. And finally, believe it or not, the E is for economic soundness. How many of us deal with bills on the table 
and just start to pull our hair out going, I don't know how I'm going to do this, shove the bills away and run over and grab the cookies or the chips. Hmm. It's not the cookie and the chips. It's the economic lack of economic soundness. So in being whole, you know, we're teaching people how to do all these things. Now, we meet everybody where they're at. Everybody wants to lose 20 pounds in 30 days. That's why we have fast track. <laughs> um, but the things that start to occur in your health allow people to live a life. I mean, I, I said to somebody last week, what could you do in your life if you felt really good that you're not doing right now? And that's the question when I speak, I'll ask that question. I go to churches, I go to businesses, and I teach. And, and that's a question I'll ask. What could you do that you're not doing right now if you felt great? And that could come back to a symptom, like we've talked about a lot of symptoms on this series. Could come back to your weight. You know, with some people, they can't go to an amusement park and get on the roller coaster with their kids because hmm. weight's in the way. I mean, what could you do if you were fully alive? I, I don't want anybody to miss life. And you're not just promoting a company. You're not just promoting an idea. You're promoting an experience that you personally, you, you were diagnosed. If you go back to our first segment that we aired, you can go to our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com, and see all of our past episodes. And in that first segment, you talked about how your diagnosis was death. So many things had built into your life that if major changes didn't happen, it was not looking good for you or your family because your future was not promised. But yet here you sit and you can speak from personal experience. It is worth it to do these even, things to become fully alive. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know the major changes, right? Because like I said, exercise, exercise I believed fixed everything. Well, here's how I adjust it. The right kind of exercise fixes everything. But if you're doing the wrong kind that you don't even know is the wrong kind, it'll mess you up. Just like weight loss alone, a diet alone is not enough. It'll mess you up. It'll slow your metabolic rate down, actually. And mine was about health. Mine had gone so far as to go from adrenal fatigue to adrenal exhaustion to adrenal burnout. I was at the very end of burnout, which is why my body was shutting down. But again, God just makes it all work out. And if I hadn't gone through that, Jennifer, I, we wouldn't have this program. <laughs> we wouldn't have locations across the nation, you know, which are founded right here in our little town <laughs> in, in Ohio, across the nation now, teaching this, that people were created to be whole and fully alive, not just lose weight because of some extra weight or go to a fitness facility because they want to work out. And those two things are wonderful. Nutrition, fitness, I'm a fan. I just know that alone, they can be incomplete, especially if you're over 35. I just, I found it out. And when you go from being told the next phase is death to feeling like you've gotten your life back, <laughs> you, you, you gotta tell people, like, you, can't, you can't be quiet, you know? I mean, it's like, it's like, no, do this and don't do this. And it could be this. And it's, it's a fascinating thing when you think about the, the science behind the way God made these bodies. It's, it's all very simple. We human beings just complicate everything. Well, we certainly don't want it to be complicated for you. Hopefully that you have found some value in all of the information that's been uh, brought to you through this series, Fully Alive, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but this is not where it ends. This is the point where if you haven't already started the path, this is your path that you can become fully alive the way God has truly intended you to be. And Donna is serious about realizing that in her personal life, God has done some amazing changes and believes that the same thing could happen for you. Here's the information on your screen where you can get more information. Of course, you're always welcome to contact us at TV44 and we'll point you in the right direction as well. Remember, regardless of where you've been, regardless of what brought you to where you are now, there is a future for you ahead and God truly does intend for you to be fully alive the rest of your days. Donna Crutch, we thank you so much for sharing this incredible information, your life-changing story and the stories of your friends. And thank you for what you do because you are, you are making changes for people all across the country. Thank you. Uh, thank thank you. you. I'm honored. Thank you. And back to you. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, if you've missed any of the previous parts in that series, you can watch those online. Just visit faithandfriends.wtlw.com. Now, 